Lexi on Gears. Let's, uh, I haven't been on a soapbox for quite a while, have I? I've been very well behaved, haven't I? Yes, very. very what well is the behaved. soapbox? Soapbox, just get on there and have a little bit of a rant and a rave oh. about certain things. Oh, okay. So my rant and a rave today is about f- motorsport fans in general. Okay. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, Daisy mentioned a little bit earlier. In the World Supersport race yesterday at the Moscow Raceway, Andrea Antonelli died after a horrific crash that took place. Um, I've seen it. It was terrible. And this 25-year-old has lost his life for no reason. The weather was bad too, hey? It was oh. raining for no reason whatsoever. And this is where I'm now going to have a little bit of a rant and a rave. Because the amount of times that it happens that motorsport so-called fans will objectify to a race not taking place because the conditions are wet or rainy. And these people have the audacity to say, Ah, they just chicken. If they were on motorbikes, they would race. If they were in cars, they would race. Whichever platform they come from. And I am going to sit there and say, unfortunately, a lot of the times it comes from two-wheel fans who always have a go at four-wheel sports uh, and racing and always sit there and say, ah, our motorbike guys would drive in those conditions. Whereas safety is the most important. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke, I even, I mentioned it on my show, the amount of accidents that are happening in motorsport at the moment, and specifically on two wheels in MotoGP and superbikes, is a cause for alarm. Accidents happen, we understand that. But there are certain accidents that should not happen. Accident that happened to Alan Simonson in uh, Lamar was a very, very unfortunate accident. It's one of those things, and we all understand the dangers and the perils of motorsport. But to sit there sometimes on your own little soapbox and profess that these people aren't brave enough or your friend would go and do it as opposed to somebody else not doing it is ludicrous. Yesterday's race should not have started in those conditions. That's it. And I blame the organizers. They should know. The people who go out there and ride on that circuit and see the amount of spray have got to understand that as much as people have paid a fortune to go and sit into those stands, the safety of the riders and drivers are the most important thing. The fact that somebody fell in front of Andrea Antonelli yesterday is irrelevant. Had it been a dry track and that person had had fallen, Antonelli might have still hit that driver. Okay, he or rider, he might have. However, it's very unlikely that in dry conditions, all of them would have been that spread out in the circuit. The reason they that spread out in the circuit is because they can't see. And this is what a lot of people who watch from their armchairs don't understand how dangerous it is to drive or ride a motorcycle in race conditions with that amount of water on a circuit. It's got nothing to do with bravery. If it was one of them going around the track, that's fine. But when you've got 15, 20 riders or drivers and that amount of spray is coming up, you cannot see a thing. So if something happens in front of you, the chances of you hitting and having a very, very nasty accident are massive. And unfortunately, we saw that yesterday. So much so that the rest of the event was cancelled. And now you sit there and think, hold on a second, but you know it actually dried out and things are okay. But it was cancelled in sympathy because this young person had lost his life. Why didn't they just sit there and wait and FIA, or the, not the FIA in this instance, the stewards, the marshals, the clerk of the course, go around and go and check it out. You cannot believe the amount of spray that was coming out of a two-wheel motorcycle, much less than from a four-wheeled um, car. 
but the amount of spray is makes things very very treacherous so the next time you're sitting in front of the tv and a race is delayed because there's standing water on the track or the safety car has gone out or safety bike has gone out and they come back and say it is too dangerous or if a race starts and a driver comes on his tel uh, his uh, pit pit um, comms and says it's very dangerous out there have respect for what that driver is going through they know better than us watching the tv it's very sad that we've lost another person in the world of motorsport and yes as i said earlier i do understand that accidents do happen and unfortunately there are tragedies and loss of life but yesterday there was no reason for this accident to have happened because that race should not have ever been started at the next intersection turn on gears with sasha martinengo weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m central african time <laughs>